Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeView.com. I have the GAN 14 Maglev Pro. Again, the reason I say again is because I already reviewed this and showed it off and then did not release the video because GAN said they're redoing it. So we're gonna go over what was changed and also just in general what the cube is because you know, if you don't know or you need an update of what's new in here, that's, that's what we're here for. So we get a card, we get this nice box with the pull tab Inside the accessories box, we have a bag. We have this thing to remove the center cap. And we have a tensioning tool and then the, the stuff about the cube. In the box, there's a new change where you have a thing on the bottom for the extra magnets tension tool. And that just clips right in here in the cube. So, Band 14 Maglev Pro. A couple things about it. It is 56 millimeters like pretty much every other major cube they have had for a while. As far as weight goes, we are looking at 71.5 grams. So on the lighter side, but not super hyper light. So it's not in the 60 grams, but it's close. We have UV coating, one through six tensions for the corners. You also have three different tensions for the magnets. It's on the highest rate now. For the corners, what is it on? It's on three, so around the middle. On the inside, we have a magnetic core, magnets in the corners and the edges. And so there's not a thing to just pull the cap off. So you take this and it takes it off. And that's actually really nice. You know, having a whole nother tool is not great, but I'm kind of liking it. Also, it's really satisfying to click. And then we have our center core travel. Right now it's set to two. So one is the tightest for that. Um, so it's pretty close to the tightest. And then the magnet strength, or the what used to be the, uh, I guess, spring, the elasticity, we'll still call it that, is four out of six. So that is on a slightly higher setting. So that's an overview of it. What has changed? So I contacted GAN because I wanted to actually know what was different between this version so I could let you know. And what I was told, uh, one, the double magnetic ring strength adjustment, stronger and thicker in size, the repulsion is greater. So the elasticity is stronger off the bat. Now I was going to compare it to the one I already got, but I don't know where it went. I've been looking for it for the all morning and I cannot find it. So it does feel more controllable out of the box and I'm really feeling comfortable with it. What did I do? Okay. Added number three oil. It's a little bit lubricated, not a ton, a little bit. And then it just says the appearance settings has not changed. So I don't know if that's just the appearance or they talk about the tension settings, any of that, but it seems like what they changed was the magnetic strength of the core. Um, now, I don't know if they lubricated it for me or they're all gonna be slightly lubricated. Hopefully they all are at some point um, when they release the main one, which I think they already did. Unsure about that, but the, the core magnet strength is what they changed, the, the elasticity. And I like it. Now, what I did in the other video, what, was I um, I tightened everything, all the magnets to the strongest setting. So I'm gonna do that because I do like really strong magnets. I'm not gonna adjust the tension. In the first puzzle, I had a, a pop on an edge piece on tension setting two. And I've never, I haven't had a pop in a long time. So what I am, assuming is having thicker and stronger core magnets will help with that too because it's going to keep it a bit more stable and not allow it to flex as much. The edges are already the strongest setting. How does that feel weaker? The smaller the number, the weaker the magnet strength. So six should be stronger unless I went too far and went back to one. Nope. Okay, well, subtle difference then. Okay, 
No more just doing the same algorithm over and over. Let's do a couple solves. I'm not going to add any lubrication to it. It actually feels fairly stable right now. I need to practice anyways. I have a competition in like two weeks and I haven't done anything. And I'm going for FMC as well and I haven't practiced that in months. I feel like I do want to slow it down a little bit though with lubrication. Oh, I should move the camera a little bit so I can see. I messed it up. I knew I did. This candy cane's pretty much done for. Okay. That feels a lot more comfortable. Okay. Well, that is about it. GAN 14 Maglev Pro, slight adjustments from what was shown about a month ago. So if you like GAN puzzles, check this one out. I'll have a link in the description where you can get it. Please hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, keep following SpeedCube Review for news and reviews.